Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how I do my speed ramping to edit like this. Before you even start editing, you want to keep two things in mind. The first thing is to shoot the highest frame rate possible to achieve a nice slow motion. So you should use 60 frames per second at least to really emphasize the speed change from slow to really fast when speed ramping. And the second thing is you want to record some kind of movement. So either a person walking or an object like a car passing by or something. If you don't have any subject at all, just move the camera, just pan or whip or something like that. As you see, I already imported some clips and a song because I'm assuming you want to edit to a special song. And remember, I told you that you should shoot in a frame rate of at least 60 frames per second. And you see my frame rate is 29. And the reason for that is my camera shoots in 120 FPS and it converts the video into a 29 FPS yeah, video inside the camera. So basically this already is slow motion. But still I edit in a 24 FPS timeline. And if you want to do the same, you are able to take whatever clip you have. It might be 60 FPS or 120 FPS. And by playing them back in a 24 FPS timeline, you can get the slowest slow motion possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert all these clips into 24 FPS. And basically we are converting them in a perfect slow motion and we do this by right click the clip the first one interpret footage main and it might say 59 point something fps for you just change that to 23.976 and hit ok click somewhere and the frame rate should change well it would be pretty annoying if you had to do this for all of your clips you might have 30 clips in here so a nice and easy way is to right click interpret footage and remember interpretation or use the shortcut and now select all your clips so hold down shift click the first one click the last one and it selects everything in between so right click interpret footage apply interpretation or use the shortcut and boom it changes all of them at once so now all your clips are converted to playback perfectly at 24 fps and basically you converted them in slow motion so i like to take my first clip and drag it onto this composition icon down here and what this does is it creates a composition that matches your video properties perfectly go down here right click composition settings because we want to change some things. If first of all the name, change it to main or something. I know my keyboard is annoying and loud, sorry. <laughs> so change the name. I always have to change the starting time code, I don't know why. So zero fixes it. And the duration, I let's say five minutes. You won't actually make a video this long, you just want the extra space to edit. Hit OK. Now we have plenty of space to edit. Okay, so now you can actually bring in your song and you probably want to turn off your clip now and you want to listen to your song and you want to add some markers to the points where you want to have the cuts or basically you want to add markers to the beats. So select your clip, press L twice to bring up the waveform, maybe zoom in a little bit and find a nice spot where you want to edit or start your edit or if you want to do the entire song. So now listen to your song and add some markers by pressing the multiply key, the little X on your number keypad and it basically adds a marker wherever your playhead is. So listen to your song and add some markers. Okay, so that's probably enough for me. Most of the time you wanna make some adjustments. Like here, you see, it's not perfect. I like 
Yeah, it should be alright. Okay, so now that you have your markers placed, uh, bring in your first clip again. Now go in between the first two markers and you wanna find the part of your clip that you want in, yeah, let's say normal speed. So I think I want this part, so I want it to speed up into this part nice and slow and speed up again, okay? Your clip might be quite shaky, especially if you only shoot in 60 FPS. So you might want to use warp stabilizer. Okay, so you probably want to trim your clip first because you would render unnecessary frames that you don't even use. So let's say over here. And by the way, to cut a layer, hold down control, shift and press D. This way you can trim a layer or you can just pull the ends. So let's say you want to apply some warp stabilizer, let it analyze. Okay, so it is finished and now your clip should be pretty smooth. And the reason I show you this is because the next step is to add time remapping. But see what happens if we add time remapping now with stabilizer applied. So right click, time, time remapping. So it gives us an error saying warp stabilizer doesn't work with time remapping. And to work around this, first of all, undo this control Z. So what you're gonna do is you right click, pre-compose, and we wanna move all the attributes, which means all the effects and keyframes and everything we apply to this clip and move it into a new composition. So, okay. And if we go in here, the clip is obviously in here and it has warp stabilizer. But After Effects just looks at this layer and now time remapping, it works. So let's say you want the clip to start here nice and fast, slow down and shoot out fast again at this marker, okay? Hold down Shift and drag the play it until it snaps to the marker. I hold down Control, Shift and press the arrow key right to jump 10 frames. And I'm gonna select my clip and add another keyframe for our time remapping. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Hold down Shift and drag the plate until it snaps to the marker. Control, Shift, arrow key to the left. So now I'm here and I add another keyframe. And we do this in order to keep the speed of this part consistent. So now we have to kind of get a lot of this to play back in only this fraction here. So I like to go to this keyframe. Again, I hold on control, shift, arrow key right to jump 10 frames. So one, two, three, four, maybe 40 frames. Add a keyframe. And now I'm gonna do the same thing from this side. Control, shift, arrow key to this side. One, two, three, four. Again, 40 frames. This might be different for you and it depends on the clip. So don't always use 40 frames. Sometimes I use even 60 or just 30. It depends on your frame rate and the clip and just, yeah, you just have to play around a little bit. So now we can actually delete these keyframes and we just have these four keyframes. By the way, if you don't see your keyframes, if you close them accidentally, just select a layer and press U and it shows you all the keyframes that this layer has. Snap again to this marker by holding down Shift and now you can drag, you don't have to press Shift now, uh, just drag your keyframe over. You know your keyframe is in this exact moment if this part lights up. So now do the same thing on this side, hold on shift until it snaps, let go of shift, drag this keyframe over and now you're good to go. You can bring this in a little bit, this one as well. Okay, so now the magic part comes, we do the actual time ramping, speed ramping. 
So select the keyframe and you want to hit this little icon, the graph editor. If you don't select your keyframes, it just looks like this. It doesn't show you anything. So in order to see something, you have to click an actual property, increase the size a little bit. If your graph editor looks like this, uh, right click and change it from edit value graph to edit speed graph. And here comes the reason why I like to do it in After Effects a lot more than in Premiere. So you want this freaky little shape to look like a half pipe, okay? So you do this by taking these little handles and drag them all the way out and down until it, it snaps automatically until it hits this line. And now go here and push this one all the way in. Now do the same thing. We might have to go a little bit to this side. Now do the same thing all the way out and all the way down. And drag it all the way to the right. So you always want it to look like this half pipe. And because we converted our clips into 24 FPS, we don't have to take this part and drag it down to make it slow motion because it already is slow motion. All we need to do is to speed it up at the ends and the beginning. So boom, it looks like this. Let me show you how it looks like when rendering. I like me better when I looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's do it for another clip. So again, you want to find the part that you want to be in the middle of the speed ramp. So I think I'm going to use this. I don't need to stabilize the clip again, so you obviously got the point. So I'm going to trim this part and trim it over here. Should be enough. So again, let's say you have Rob Stabilizer applied. Right click, pre-compose. If you don't need Rob Stabilizer, if you're fine, just like that, just right click, time, time remapping, just snap to a marker and now 10 frames is probably too much. So hold on, control, arrow key, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add a keyframe, do the same thing from the other marker, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So snap to this marker and jump a few frames. Maybe maybe 30 might be enough now. One, two, three. Oh, keyframe. And 30 frames from this direction. One, two, three. And now snap them to the markers. Trim this from this, select the keyframe, check graph editor, make it a little bit bigger. And again, all the way out, all the way down. It snaps, push this one in, scroll over, take this one all the way out and all the way down. Push it in. So again, the half pipe, right? Okay, so let me do one more clip. By the way, this, this section hurts my eyes, so I'm gonna transform, flip horizontal, and now it just adds to the screen direction. So he skates to the right, she walks to the right, the kid runs to the right. Looks so much better. So let me just quickly check how this looks. From here you can do all kinds of things, maybe add some adjustment layers, maybe free. Just use force motion blur. Enable some native motion blur, increase the shutter angle to something like 320, increase the samples. And you see the motion blur is smart enough to know this isn't fast, but this part is and it blurs the image for you. 
do some color grading. I this by the way this is not how I color grade, just just to get the get the idea. Maybe use some cinematic bars. So let's see what we achieve today. Really, really cool thing about the pre-composition is if you see it has these keyframes and not this layer, only the pre-composition, you're actually able to go inside the pre-composition by double clicking and you can actually replace this clip in here and it perfectly speed ramps it in here. So let me prove it to you. So I'm gonna take this clip out of the pre-composition and I'm putting in this one and if you see it changed the clip and it also speed ramps it. See you just have to put in your clips and they are already speed ramped, it's pretty cool. Okay so that should be it for today, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new to use for yourself. And if you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. And I see you in the next one.